The death toll is now 58 Palestinians and hundreds protesting as the U.S. moved its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And an emergency meeting has now been called by the union. Joining me this morning is international studies professor Dr. Glenn Dewar. And Dr. Dewar, this is an interesting topic. I know that in the coming weeks, you and your students will be actually traveling to Gaza Strip where this is kind of all happening. I want to start with that because I think that's something that is probably right at the top of your mind. Are you concerned at all? for safety? Uh, not really. There's been a seven-week protest along the Gaza Strip. We're not going into the Gaza Strip. We're kind of over overseeing it. Uh, there are a range of different issues. Uh, yesterday marks the 70th anniversary of the declaration of the State of Israel. Minutes later, President Truman recognized it, and it, it went from there. Uh, but it's it's been simmering for a while. Uh, I expect it to actually subside in the coming days, uh, especially now that the anniversary has passed and the embassy has been moved as well. So, it, when you go in a couple of weeks, you're not. I mean, you, what do you expect? I guess to see you and your students. Sure, a range of different sites uh, across the country. Uh, as Cedarville University is a Christian university, seeing a range of different biblical sites, but also geopolitics. Uh, in the north with the Golan Heights along the border with Syria, uh, into the West Bank uh, to see the issue between Israelis and Palestinians, and then down to the Gaza Strip to see what's going on there. Uh, so it would be really uh, interesting and, and enlivening for all of us, I think. And with the moving of the U.S. Embassy, what do you think this has actually done in the Middle East? There's been some protests, some unrest. Do you think this is just more of the same, or do you think things could eventually uh, simmer out? Well, there's a lot to unpack. Uh, in 1995, Congress passed a law saying that the Jerusalem was the capital of Israel. Uh, and so this move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem is really a straight swap. We have a consulate in Jerusalem, uh, an embassy in Tel Aviv. They've just swapped as of now. Um, but in terms of alliances, uh, Israel's alliance with Egypt and Jordan has remained strong. There's a budding alliance with Saudi Arabia, but there are a range of uh, dangers to the north with, with Syria. The mm -hmm. Turkish president, uh, Erdogan, is, is unhappy right now. So we'll see how all, the, all of this lands. There are moving pieces in the Middle East. So still so too, much, too much kind of moving around to kind of see where we can be in the next couple of weeks. But do you think as of right now that we can expect any sort of attack on any, any country out there? Uh, there are certainly dangers. Uh, in the south of Lebanon, Hezbollah has been accumulating a lot of rockets. Uh, Israel has defended itself and uh, struck targets in southern Lebanon. Um, Hezbollah is Iran, and so there's a simmering tension there, especially with the United States withdrawing from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the Iran deal. Uh, and so we'll see how that uh, foot filters out as well. Uh, but in terms of relationships between the average Israeli and Palestinian, especially uh, in Jerusalem, um, uh, between Israel and the West Bank, a lot of people just want to make money for their families and so they don't want to see a rise in tensions they want americans to come to spend money to boost the tourism industry so i expect things in a lot of the country to remain stable and useful for tourists all right dr glenn dewar thank you so much professor of international studies from cedarville university we really appreciate you coming in and breaking this down for us Absolutely. all right our time right now is 7 11.